Hi everyone, I'm Reshmi and you might know me from Taste of Trini on YouTube or at Taste of Trinbago on Instagram or on Facebook. Today I'm going to share my recipe for a stewed chicken soup. My cousin used to practically live by us and on the weekend when he'd get drunk and come home, the only thing he used to crave for was my chicken soup. So it kind of has a lot of memories for me and for my cousin. So today I'm going to share the recipe with you all and I hope you enjoy it. So the first thing I'm going to do is start off by seasoning up the chicken. The chicken is washed already, it's cut up, and I just took off the excess skin and the fat. I washed it with some white vinegar, and it's nice and clean now. So the first thing I'm adding is a little bit of salt. And you don't want to add too much salt because you can always add at the end. And then we'll add more salt to the soup as well. I'm adding some green seasoning. This is a combination of shadow benny or bandania, pimento peppers or seasoning peppers, hot peppers, garlic. So I'm gonna be very generous with the seasoning because once it goes into the pot, we'll add a little more as well. And you can never have too much seasoning. And then my own special touch is some grated ginger, some chopped lemongrass, or locally we know this as fever grass. So all I did was I chopped the root really finely. And it has a, such a, it has like a citrusy scent. It's lovely in the soup. Um, so I'm gonna add that. I also grated some turmeric, or we call this saffron. So I just ground everything up because you don't want to like to bite chunks in the soup. So just ground it up really finely. I'm adding some chopped onion and hot pepper. And you can add as much pepper as you want. I don't want to make it too peppery, but if I was making this at home, it would have about three hot peppers in there. And I'm going to add some ketchup. I know this might seem weird to some of you, but the ketchup gives it a lovely flavor. And some soy sauce because no one likes white chicken floating in soup, right? I love when the chicken has a lovely brown color. So I'm going to add some of that soy sauce. And you add as much or as little as you like, depending on how dark or how light you want your chicken. So that's all that goes into the chicken. And now I'm just gonna mix that. And it smells so lovely already. So I'm just gonna set this aside, let it marinate, and then we'll move on to the next step. I'm gonna show you all how to make the dumpling dough. So now we're working on the dumpling dough. So I'm making some coconut dumplings. To my flour, I'm adding in some salt and some brown sugar. The brown sugar really brings out that coconut flavor in the dumplings. Now I'm just gonna mix it. So once that's mixed thoroughly, I'm just gonna add my coconut milk in. And if you don't have coconut milk readily available, you can just use some coconut powder, mix it in and add some water. So I'm just gonna create a nice soft dough. So once it forms a nice soft dough, now you're just gonna cover it with a damp paper towel and set it aside until we're ready to use it, which is gonna be at the end of the soup. We're gonna add this in the last 10 minutes. So I just put the pot up to heat up on high heat. I'm gonna add some oil in there because we're gonna stew the chicken, but usually for stew, you really don't need oil. I'm just adding a little bit just to help the chicken along. So you just want the oil to heat up a bit and then add some brown sugar in there. You don't wanna touch it or anything, just let it do its thing and you want it to caramelize and form a really nice amber, golden brown color. And then we can add the chicken in. So you'll notice we're getting that nice caramel color coming in now. Just keep your eye on it. When you're 
burning or browning sugar for stew, you want to keep your eye on the pot at all times. Because once you step away, that's it. So this is the part you want to watch. Look at the swelling action. It's going to move towards the sides of the pot. Keep turning. And then once it starts to change color, I'm going to add the chicken in. Now I'm going to add the chicken in. Once it goes in, just give it a mix. You want it to get coated evenly with the nice caramelized sugar mixture. Now you want to leave this on high heat. You want the chicken to spring its natural juices and cook down in its own liquid here and then we'll add any other liquids. So just leave it on high heat and I'll show you all the amount of water or the liquid that it sprung up and then we can add the rest of the ingredients. So you'll notice that the chicken lets out a lot of liquid already. So I'm just going to leave it, let it do its thing. Um, when, it's, when you start to get that charring sound, when the liquid reduces, that's when you can move on to the next step. So I forgot to mention, you all see in some feet ending in here, we don't waste anything in the chicken. So I used that entire chicken. I didn't um, throw out the feet or anything because I like to eat the feet too. So most of that liquid reduced and you're hearing that like charring sound because the chicken is starting to stick to the bottom of the pot and that's exactly what you want. So now it's time to add the provisions in and what I like to do is leave it in our bowl with water, just submerge it in the water because you don't want it to oxidize and form that brown skin at the top, on the outside. So I'm just going to get it out of there of the water and add it to the chicken. So I'm adding everything in there, the carrots and the pumpkin as well. I have the sweet potato, the aloo, I have some green fig, I have some dashing too. So now I'm just going to mix this because I want that stew sauce to coat the provisions and everything. It's going to be amazing. So now that the provisions are coated with that lovely stew sauce, what I did here is the bowl that the chicken was in, I wanted to get all the seasonings out because we don't like to waste seasonings here. So I'm going to add some water to it with the seasonings. And I'm also going to add some boiling water or just some warm water. So now that I've added the water to the provisions and to the chicken, now I'm just going to leave it on high heat and it's going to start to bubble in a bit. But at this point, I want to add some salt to it. And if you want to add any beans or peas, you can do so at this point also. You can add some pureed dal or split peas. Uh, you could do chana or chickpeas, whatever you want to add to your soup. You can customize it to your own preference or to your taste. So our soup is bubbling away. So now I like to add a little more green seasoning just to flavor it up a little more. And I have some chopped celery. I like to add a lot of celery. And at this point, I'm going to add the okras in. Make sure you use nice young okras. The young ones are softer, so they cook quicker. I'm just going to let this bubble for the next 5 to 10 minutes. And then we'll start working on the dumplings. So the soup is nearly finished. Now it's time to add the dumplings. And you can add them whatever size you want. I'm just going to make some spinners. So I'm going to pick up some of the dough in my hand. If it's too wet, you can just add some flour to your hand and it'll help it to roll easier. So You can also just roll this out onto your surface and cut it in squares if you want a thinner dumpling. 
I just think this way is easier and less messy. So once the dumplings are added to the soup, now you just want to mix it around just so it cooks evenly and it cooks quickly because it's already steaming hot in there. So the dumplings are not going to take too long to cook. So this is just going to bubble for about five minutes again and then we can turn it off. I'm just going to finish it with some chopped bandania or shadow benny. And I'm going to use some chopped scythe. If you live out of the Caribbean, you might know this as green onion or scallion. So I'm just going to give it a little taste to see if it needs anything. Galashin. So I'm going to turn it off now and I'll put it into a bowl and I'll show you what it looks like. So now is my favorite part, time to eat. So I'm going to taste the soup. Mm-hmm, that lashing. It has that stewed flavor. And I know it's something that you may not think that it would go well in a soup, but trust me, try it out. Let me know what you think. Leave some comments down below. And I promise you all are gonna love this recipe. So I hope you all enjoyed the recipe video for this stewed chicken soup. I promise you all are gonna love it. If you wanna check out the full recipe and you wanna try it out at home, Go to www.eatafoodtt.com for all the exact measurements and the steps on how to make this lovely chicken soup. You can also check them out at Eat a Food on Instagram, Eat a Food on Facebook and on YouTube. You can check me out on YouTube at Taste of Trini and at Taste of Trinbago on Facebook and Instagram. So I hope you all enjoyed. Until next time. Bye.